Hi, and welcome to this SYNC's Assemblies tutorial. In this short video, we will cover how to organize, create, and populate assemblies. Assemblies can be used for a variety of purposes. Hangers, water closet hookups, inventory items, just about any function where you need a list of materials. Assemblies will make your job much more efficient. In addition to saving you and others in your company the time for looking up items every time they are used, you can then easily add these assemblies to any project or transaction. An RFQ, a purchase order, or a quote. For this demonstration, let's assume we are a contractor who frequently uses Clevis hangers. To save time, we would like to create a pre-built list or assembly of everything that we will need for a Clevis hanger. This will allow us to quickly reuse this list of materials in the future. For example, the purchasing billing departments might particularly like this so they don't have to search again and again for the hex nut that was used in this hanger assembly. We are going to create copper clad clevis hanger assemblies for each size of copper tube. Each assembly will include four items, an anvil clevis hanger, CT65, an all thread rod, a C-clamp, and two hex nuts. Please note that these assemblies will be saved in the utilities panel on the right of your screen. The folder subfolder structure can be employed to help keep your assemblies organized in a manner meaningful to you. To get started, we'll begin by creating the folder structure on the utilities panel to keep the hangers organized, and then we'll need to add the assembly and finally the item. The first folder we will create is a hangers folder and then a clevis copper clad subfolder because in the future there may be other types of hanger assemblies and we want to quickly locate the appropriate assembly. To create these folders, simply click the add folder icon. Then we'll enter hangers. To add the subfolder, click on the Add Folder icon on the hangers line. And now we'll enter Clevis Copper Clad. Now that we have the folder organization in place, we can begin by adding assemblies. There are two easy ways to create assemblies. First, on the new Clevis copper clad folder line in the utilities panel, simply click on the icon to create a new assembly slash bomb. This will open a box where we can give the assembly a name, point five, Anvil dash CT dash sixty five and click save. We will now see it appear in the subfolder Clevis Copper Clad. There's our point five anvil CT sixty five assembly. Now that the assembly organization and our first assembly is created, we need to add our first item, the Anvil Copper Clad Clevis Hanger, part number CT65. In the search application, I'm going to enter the keywords Anvil CT65 and Copper, and click Add to add those keywords to the search. And here's our list of the anvil hangers. To our new 0.5 anvil CT65 assembly, we want to add the half inch clevis hanger. So we'll find it in our search results and simply drag and drop it into our newly created 0.5 anvil CT65 assembly. First, we locate our half inch copper plated clevis hanger. 
left click with the mouse and drag and drop that item into our assembly. You will notice the feedback mechanism showing us plus one item, indicating that our item has been successfully added to our assembly. For the 0.75 assembly, we will use a second alternative way to create an assembly slash bomb. This is done easily from the search results ribbon. On the bomb tab, we will see there are three options. Add items to a new bomb, add items to an existing bomb, or create an empty bomb. We need to create the next size 0.75 clevis hanger assembly. We'll select the 3 quarter inch clevis hanger from the search results and click Add Items to New Bomb. This will open up a box where you can name your assembly and save it into your desired location. So here we go, 0.75, Anvil, CT65, assembly type. And we're going to put it in our Clevis copper clad folder. We'll click Save, and when it's finished, our new bomb or assembly has successfully been created. We can expand the folder for our Clevis copper clad, and notice we now have two bombs or two assemblies, a 0.75 and a 0.5. We can use the same procedure for adding the remaining items. For the sake of this video, We'll assume we've gone through the steps to create the remaining assemblies we need and have added each of the four items to each assembly. Now that we have the assemblies of Clevis hangers, what do we want to do with them? An assembly can be edited, exported, or printed. Most users will find it helpful to open an assembly in a new browser tab. Simply right-click on the name of that assembly and select Open Link in New Tab. This will open your assembly in a new tab where you can do all sorts of functionality applied to that particular assembly. If you notice the ribbon above the contents of the assembly's items, you can print it, export it as a PDF, spreadsheet, or a comma delimited file, or save it as a, a bomb, an RFQ, a quote, or a project material list. You can also remove items from this assembly. This concludes our brief assemblies tutorial. If you need additional information on SYNCS features, please be sure to watch our other SYNCS tutorials.